Okay, so I really love leftovers. I'm about to make lunch with some leftover salmon that I have from dinner. This was just roasted with salt and pepper, so it's a very neutral canvas to work with. And I'm gonna be making one of my favorite lunches, dinners. I'll eat this anytime, it's so good. Um, so the key is that you need some cooked rice. That could be rice from your dinner. Um, that could be sticky rice that you buy in a package from Costco. I was just curious about it because I love sticky rice. And it turns out that it's really good for this because when it comes out of the package, it looks like this. It's a little bowl shaped piece of rice. So I cut this in half and then I cut it in half again um, because I'm going to use half a portion and I'm going to sear it and make crispy sticky rice. So I want as much crispiness. I want all the surface area for crispiness I can get. So I have a nonstick pan that I've been heating up and I just added canola oil. It's important that you add enough oil, it doesn't stick. If you don't have any fat, if you don't have enough fat, you're not gonna get that crispiness. That's, fat is what makes it golden brown and delicious. So you wanna hear that sound. I don't know if you heard it. You wanna hear that when your rice is going in, otherwise your pan is not hot enough. So I've had this preheating for, I don't know, a minute. It depends on your stove. If you have a really powerful stove, it won't take that long. Um, but if you have maybe a weaker flame, it's going to take longer to heat up, but you want to hear the sizzle. That's how you know more than the time. It's the sizzle. Hear it? Okay. So I'm going to put my rice in. You don't want it so hot that it just starts to burn right away. You want it hot enough that you hear the sizzle, but you want it to get that golden caramelization because that texture is what gives it delicious flavor. So this rice, um, comes just, it's plain rice. It's not salted doesn't have anything, if it has salt, very little. Um, so you need to add a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little kosher salt, but we're gonna be adding more flavor that we're gonna layer on. So you can see I have it one side up, one side down, it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna be flipping it. Um, but I'm just gonna let this become golden brown. And I've already, I just microwaved my salmon to heat it up. Um, you could eat it cold if you wanted, room temperature, it really doesn't matter. It's the warm, sticky rice that really makes this dish. Okay, I have a cucumber. This is one of those miniature seedless cucumbers that I'm just going to cut the ends off and I'm going to do a quick dice. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect because this is a garnish, but it's also a delicious element to this dish. It gives it that crispiness, that color, um, a little bit of contrast and that we're going to toss it with just a little bit of vinegar. Um, so the rice is going to be the first thing to go in the dish, then the salmon, then the cucumber. So I'm just going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to let my rice get nice and golden. Okay, I flipped my rice, I added a little more oil and another hit of salt. Um, it takes a little while to get it golden. People always wanna know how long, and the tricky answer is it really depends on so many things going on in your kitchen. Your stove, how powerful it is, your pan, how high your heat is, how thick your rice is, what kind of rice you're using. So really you wanna be looking for that visual cue, which is that golden brown color. So I flipped it when it looks like this. It pops a lot when you're cooking it, so just be careful. I wanna step back a little bit. Um, but the golden brown color is what you're looking for. So that visual cue is what should tell you when to flip it more than the time. The time is just an estimate, my friends. Okay, so I have golden brown color on the other side. Um, and I'm going to put it, it's, it's not as pretty on the other side. That tends to happen with the second side when you're browning things. So I'm going to put it in my pan like this, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to put my salmon salmon baby right on top. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of this Japanese barbecue sauce that I also happen to pick up at Costco. Oops. If you're noticing a theme, there is one. I go to Costco a lot. I mean, that's what a suburban mom does. Um, but I know this is pretty specific. So it's thin, and I would say that's what I like about it for this application. See, I'm just going to 
drizzle it over my warm salmon. I don't want like something really thick, but it's gonna give it um, some really good flavor and what you could use instead of this. If you don't happen to be at Costco and find Japanese barbecue sauce or at the store where you wanna make your own, it's, I would, I mean, that's not what is in here exactly, but I think a good substitute would be equal parts soy sauce, a little bit of either maple syrup or agave even, and some rice vinegar. That's gonna give you that sweet, salty, sour um, flavor that's really good on this. Okay, so I have my barbecue sauce and I'm gonna put my cucumbers artfully on the top. I'm gonna do a little, little drape. If you wanted to be extra fancy, you could put these in a small bowl and toss them with your rice vinegar, but it's all going in the same place in just a few minutes and that's my stomach. So I'm just gonna give this a little splash of rice vinegar. Love rice vinegar. It adds really nice acidity and brightness to the dish. Um, I'm gonna do maybe a little more, a little more of this goodness on the sides here. And then, why is this coming out? Okay, and then, Gotta open it, that's why it's not coming out. And then a little bit of um, the spirakake, which is a Japanese condiment. Sometimes you see it at a restaurant, um, a ramen restaurant or something like that, and it's nori and sesame seeds and usually some sort of seasoning. This one has yuzu zest in it too, and I really like it. Um, so it's going to add not only flavor, but it's gonna make it look like a restaurant dish, I think. I think it's really pretty. I love the texture. It gives the cucumbers and the whole dish. We're really hungry and I cannot wait to dig into my leftover salmon. Try it, you're gonna love it. That crispy rice, I tell you, it's where it's at.